knife do. More dope. Come and get your figs. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Goddamn, my fire to fuck up today. That's right. You know I never shit you. Got one that was sent to me by a loyal, and I mean goddamn loyal, loyal subscriber of the channel. At this point, I'd even consider him a friend, Mr. RD. Now, Mr. RD, you can find him always commenting on my videos. He is uh, a big member of the community. You can actually find him on Instagram. I'll go ahead and try to put his, um, his IG information in the description. But Mr. RD had a... Uh, had a knife of his that I had checked that you know that looked pretty good to me. It was a it's a new version of a legendary EDC model. Um, I wanted to check it out. Reached out to him. He had no issues sending it down my way. And so today we're going to be taking a look at that. And without further ado, let's get to the dope. Today's unboxing knife is going to be this iconic beast. This is the Spiderco Smock Kevin Smock collaboration. We've got CPM S30V, fantastic modified sheep's foot apparatus. Love that hollow grind. Actually despise these um, peel ply carbon fiber G10 scales, but you know, it is what it is. I just, I really have never found any scales aftermarket that I felt um, I really wanted. I had contemplated putting some titanium ones on these, but um, you know, just never got to it. So let's see uh, what Mr. Ryan sent my way. Now I tell you, you know, my boy Ryan was, uh, he was very, very, uh, very, very worried that the dope was not gonna make it to me. He gave me daily updates as far as to, um, to when this would arrive. It actually arrived last week, but your boy was out of town over the weekend, allegedly. And so today we're gonna be taking a look at the traditional pocket knives exclusive and it is coming to us from QSP, and it is the QSP Penguin Button Lock Apparatus. Now, there's a couple of things on this knife that really got me uh, interested in it. Number one, the Penguin was the, or rather the premium version of the Penguin, was my very first quote-unquote big ticket purchase. I think uh, when, I got the, when I got one, I ended up getting a Caviso exclusive, and it was like 140, 135, something like that. And at that point in my journey, that was a lot of goddamn money. Uh, but nonetheless, here she is in the closed position. I believe there's about three different versions or variants to this model, uh, but this is the jigged titanium. I think they're all jigged. Uh, this is, I would call this like a raw stonewash finish on the, uh, on the handles. Mill titanium pocket clip. These are coming in at a buck 65. We've got a nice robust set of tits for your deployment, as well as that flipper tab. Woo! Detent is dialed the fuck in. Now, I believe there's only a hundred of each variant. So, you know, pretty exclusive. And if I'm being honest, I think traditional pocket knives has the best QSP collaborations or QSP uh, exclusives, I should say. Big shout out to Austin Jackson, uh, former active Marine like myself. Oorah! He's been great to me and my channel. Uh, but let's get back to the knife. 7.06 inches is the overall weight of the knife, or rather the overall length of the knife. Now that we've got a stout, and I mean stout detent uh, sensation when you go with those studs. Much easier with the flipper tab, but I like, uh, God damn, pain is love and love is pain. We've got 3.06 inches as far as blade length, CPM S90V, Steel of the gods. Now, a couple of things that they, um, a couple improvements, I should say. Number one is the steel, but more importantly is going to be they actually gave us a hollow grind on that blade. And man, oh man, add that up with 110 thousandths for your blade stock thickness. And what do you get? She's a slicey hoe. Now, as far as um, the button actuation, it's um, not bad, you know. I've had a couple of QSP uh, models that had button locks. I think this one 
quite possibly is the, um, they've gotten better, so to speak. You know, I think QSP really needs to focus on the Penguin, maybe even the Rhino, the Hedgehog. They've got a couple of solid, solid, uh, you know, models in their catalog. I think they also have a lot of knives that I do not like. Uh, but, you know, this is their flagship model for sure. We've got 3.4 inches or rather 3.4 ounces as far as overall weight. Uh, full titanium hardware as well. Now that pocket clip is not reversible. So lefties, uh, no love there. I would have preferred no flipper, but, um, you know, I ain't mad at it. Let's go ahead and put a couple of knives up for some size comparison. Basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Gotta roll with America first. We're gonna start out like this, the Spyderco Micro Jimbo. Then we're gonna go with a classic iconic knife, and that's going to be the Urban EDC F5.5. So here you see that penguin up against those. Let's do a couple more, shall we? This recent acquisition has really got me excited, and that is the Wii Banter. How about the unofficial overseas knife of the channel? You know her name, you've seen the bitch before. We're looking at that CJRB Echo. And so the Penguin is smaller than the uh, than the Echo and a little bit bigger than that Banter. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. How about a Jack Wolf? After hours, Jack is in the building. Last but certainly not least, gotta have some Demko in your life. And we're gonna go with the 20.5 with that fantastic regrind courtesy of BGM. And the Penguin is uh, smaller than both of these. Now, what I've also decided to do is after sharing this, uh, this knife with you, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys five of my favorite Warren Cliff knives slash Sheepfoot knives in my collection. Um, because I think the more I think about it, you know, I, I love a good drop point. I love a good Tonto. But man, oh man, do I love a good Warren Cliff slash Sheepsfoot blade. Now, also quickly, let me show you guys a couple of the penguins I have left in my collection, um, only down to two. That aforementioned Caviso exclusive. This has been with me since 2022, so this is quite possibly one of the longest tenured knives in my collection. She's, uh, she's a keeper, love the bitch. And then of course, one that I feel does not get enough love because it's a goddamn good one, and that's this mini penguin. Uh, this one is actually, uh, I don't recall, I think like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. Fantastic little cutter, man. Um, yeah, so there you see the uh, penguin assortment. I actually got the large penguin too, but gifted that to uh, one of my sons currently. He's rocking it. Um, but there you see the uh, penguin button lock. Now let's go ahead and show you guys some of my favorite Warren Cliff collection, or rather knives in my collection. Got this one which is my little native, the Warren Cliff version. This one is rocking these DLC coated titanium scales from Rip's Garage, CPM S30V. Love it, love it, love it. Then we've got uh, one that's fairly recent to my collection, but man, oh man, is it a good one. Coming from Wii, this one is the Todd Knife and Tool collaboration, Roxy 3, S35VN, full flat grind, multiple forms of deployment, solid titanium build, true, true workhorse, man. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, my Ray Laconico, the MBK Old Guard. Now, this is an older version. I got this, I believe, in two, the beginning of 2023. Sold it to a buddy of mine and ended up missing it. So I was uh, fortunate enough to get it back from him. Uh, ZDP 189. And then there's a Jacket Steel. I think it's like 4016 or 40 some shit. Um, but there it is. And we have a nested liner lock, titanium handles riding on washers, glassy, glassy smooth. Ray Laconico is such an icon in our, uh, in our, in our world, our knife world, legendary designer at this point. And so I feel fortunate to have that one in the collection. Then we've got to have a Spyderco. We're gonna go with the Marcin Swizz collaboration, which is otherwise known as the Swayback. XHP for your blade steel, hollow grind. Love that stone wash finish, contour titanium handles. Coming to us from the Tai Chung Taiwan facility. My only negative on this knife is that there is no reverse flick for the right-handers. Uh, however, if you are left-handed, you can definitely reverse flick it. Now there is a mod that uh, my partner Duty does where he actually cuts a piece of the uh, scales to allow a front flipper. 
I think I just need to go ahead and send it to him and uh, have him do it. Fantastic knife. And last but certainly not least, more American dope for your palate. We've got the American Blade Works Model 2 in Magna Cum Laude, titanium. You know your boy had to go ahead and throw a nice set of tits on there. Uh, this one's going to be heading to uh, the Rain Man shortly to have that flipper deleted. Shit, I might even fuck around and try to do it, you know? I need to start doing more of my own mods, man. I'm thinking, uh, thinking of seriously starting to do that. Well, there we have it, people. Some of my favorite Warren Cliff Blades in the collection, along with that newest rendition of that QSP Penguin. I'm digging it. Think I might have to snag one. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Which is some of y'all favorite Warren Cliff knives. Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!